stay with me here for a moment. We do have an important conversation and it is about shopping. Do you love to shop? You know, I absolutely love to shop. I cannot wait to find something that is lovely, that reflects who I am. But how do you shop? You know, how do you shop to buy something useful? Shopping is an art and doing it right and well is an important skill because you can indulge in trends and fast fashion and they, in the end, have nothing useful in your closet. You can have nothing to wear. It turns out that buying technology can be exactly like that. So instead of focusing on the wardrobe, we will talk about your technology, but the principles are the same. You need to make sure that you buy something that fits, something that beautiful and functional, and yes, well made. So the question is, how do you get there? What I think is the key word in assessing any purchases, whether it's your wardrobe purchase or technology purchase, is buying a classic. So what do I mean by a classic? When you think of a classic wardrobe, you think about the past. You think about good memories and the scars of yesterdays that allowed you to evolve and to be who you are today. But then you too also think about excitement of today, the whole array of fabulous things that is in front of you, the things that make you get up in the morning and want to show up as yourself. And then three, which is very important, the promise of better tomorrow. That are the things that are very important when you buy a wardrobe, and it turns out they're very important when you buy technology. You're confident that all of those well-worn classic will never just become stuff. I bet you can't wait to wear, you know, your comfortable shirt that makes you good look great. That little black dress in which you look amazing. And I call those things reliable classic. How do you do it? How do you buy reliable classic? The answer is, it is all about small decisions. Being right is more important than being fast. A fit is much more important than a quick buy and the quality matters. So in the end, it is all about curation. You know, to stay classy, you really need to avoid fast technology, just like you have to avoid fast fashion. You know exactly what your organization needs are. So naturally, you look for technology to make your operations more efficient and to grow companies' revenue. And one such technology is the contract lifecycle management or CLM. It exploded. It has been growing rapidly before the pandemic and then it really exploded during the pandemic. So now there it is in front of you, the bleeding edge technology. It has intuitive UI, collaborative tools, machine learning, workflow automation, analytics galore, the whole nine yards. And you hope to buy it fast. By my invitation to you is actually to do the opposite of that, is to slow down and decide on the direction first. Because in this important purchase, your direction is actually much more important than speed. So hold on a second. Same as the fashion, you will need to do 
with technology. Fast technology puts you at risk of being left with nothing to use and nothing to show for it. It is easy to exchange your purchase from the same store. Exchanging enterprise technology after it has been implemented, that is not easy. So ask yourself, ask yourself important questions. Are we actually ready to buy this bleeding edge technology? Are we as an organization at the point of readiness? Will it do what we actually needed to do? Will it solve our biggest challenges? And will the right people actually use it? In other words, you need to be prepared to curate. And that's where you need to focus on the greatest challenge of facing businesses today, managing their contracts. There are a lot of papers and there are many, many people in many departments who will touch that paper before it is becoming a signed living, breathing document. Most of the time, there is no efficiency. It is actually kind of a genuine mess. And it increases companies to risk. You know, I am one of those people who is a huge enthusiast for a good step-by-step -step process. I like to reach my goals and know that if I have a process, I have a correct path to get there. So following the plan is very important to me and, and having the plan before you make a purchase is really mission critical. So that is why it's important to set the goals, understand how you can innovate, build your team, and identify your KPIs. If you follow that four-step plan, you should absolutely get to a better decision. You should absolutely get to what I would describe as purchasing a reliable classic.